Hello everyone, today with another video on driver update management, a very new cool feature and uh, again with Yannick, very happy to have you here. Hi, together. Um, yes, in our last video, we talked about the new changes in Intune in uh, the last quarter. And in this video, we want to deep dive into the topic of driver management. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so talking about driver update management, that new feature in Intune, we first want to introduce you the component, components which are involved into that process. So first of all, we have the Windows Update service as Cloud uh, Central service, which provide the updates, the updates for Windows products and uh, also drivers now through the content delivery network of Microsoft. Then furthermore, a very important service, the Woof BDS, so the Windows Update for Business Deployment service. Um, I tried to explain that because that's already a very known service to um, some people out there, but I think now it becomes even more important. It's basically a, a set of the WU, which is the Windows Update uh, service again, the FB, which stands for, for business, uh, which are the commercial controls, such as policies, pause, commands, and so on, where you can configure the behavior. And then finally, the DS is the deployment service, which is basically an API. And that one connects the Windows update with the commercial controls to tell your clients what they need to do and to be served with the right updates. Now, in the end, what the feature does, it identifies the applicable driver updates for your devices, so for the hardware model or the hardware itself, from the existing Windows update inventory. And in Tune, you just configure the driver update policies just as you would do with the Windows update policies. Now again, for the features, yeah, let's just Microsoft automatically identify the applicable driver sets and driver updates for your devices and let it install automatically. You can benefit from the trusted inventory of the Windows Update Catalog because it's important to mention we already had some kind of driver update management within Windows Update for Business, but it was a take all or nothing setting. So either allow driver updates or blocking them. Now we have more granular controls above that. So again, here the OEMs, so original equipment manufacturers and vendors publish their driver sets and updates into the Windows Update Catalog and you can control their deployment. You can also approve, decline and pause the updates in case of any issues or yeah, approval, of course, uh, should always be happen to always have the latest um, driver update, the la latest version of something to uh, guarantee the compatibility, the functionality, and of course, also for security reasons. With that feature, we can also control the visibility of optional updates and of course, also the recommended updates. And we can profit from detailed reporting within Intune and also what I find very cool within the Windows Update for Business reports section there's a new tab, or it was already existing, the driver updates uh, reporting there are inventory data for Windows Update for Business driver deployments. Talking about deployment, um, I want to highlight something about this strategy because there are two approaches. One is the red button strategy, where you would assume all content is good until proven bad. So this one would mean Every driver update is continuously coming into your environment and updating by itself. So everything fully automated. If you have issues, encounter issues, the IT admin must explicitly stop a driver update deployment. That's one strategy. And on the other hand, we have the green button strategy. Here we assume all content is bad until proven good. So an IT admin would need to validate and push new updates, new content. Both of them have advantages and disadvantages, but please consider that the green button strategy will always need manual effort to review and approve these driver updates. And if you have a large environment, that can be a very, very much time efforting uh, yeah, task. All right. Good. With this, I will jump into the prerequisites. Um, all prerequisites you see here uh, should be no surprise. And if you already use um, 
Windows Update for Business. Um, it should, you should not have a headache uh, with these prerequisites, but uh, let's go through them. Um, the first prerequisite is your um, OS, which you use. Um, it's the uh, Windows Pro Enterprise and Education. LTSC is not supported. I'm not sure if it will not work um, in LTC, but um, it's definitely not in uh, official support. Um, then the license requirement is you need a uh, minimum Intune Plan 1. Um, you need an Azure AD joint device or a um, hybrid Azure AD joint device. Um, and you need an Windows li um, uh, you need a minimum Windows license enterprise E3, A3, F3, or um, the um, E5, um, A5, or F5 license, or a Microsoft 360 Business Premium um, license Windows. Um, in addition, um, uh, you have to enroll your devices in Intune for sure. Um, you need a telemetry level of minimum required. And um, it's important that uh, um, uh, WLIDS uh, VC service is running, but this should also be the case if you already use um, Windows Update for Business or if you already deployed a uh, Windows Update for Business policy to the device. And you have to make sure that the needed um, network endpoints are accessible. But um, for this, you can check out a script from me. You can find it in my GitHub um, repository where I run uh, more or less a network check if all necessary Intune network endpoints are accessible. And with this also the ones which are necessary for Windows update for business. Um, and what you need in addition is uh, you need to enable Windows update data collection policy and the uh, tenant uh, Windows data collection. And um, you should for sure not block <laughs> driver updates in your update rings uh, that um, yeah, the driver management will work. Good. Um, Niklas already talked about the two strategies you have. Um, the um, I approve everything or I allow everything per default. Um, what you can see here is more or less uh, the flow, what you have um, in the settings section of um, this policy when you create this profile. You can select the manual approval, um, as Niklas already mentioned. You have to go through all the detected driver updates and have to approve them if you want to uh, push them to your devices, or you can also um, automatically um, uh, approve everything and only pause or disable updates if you are um, not willing to push them to all your devices. But you can uh, for sure define a delay of some days. This means you can say, hey, I will push um, all updates uh, when you set it for automatic for sure. I will push all updates after five days um, um, after the release. Uh, what you can do with this is um, you can also build different pilot groups. This means you can say your device get it directly when the drivers push out, then you have a um, a bigger group, maybe from 100 devices where you uh, validate this and after this you can push it maybe to um, also bigger group or to all devices depending on your count of devices you have in your environment. But with this you can have a, um, yeah, a better quality management and uh, testing phase for some updates. Good. Um, on this slide, we have a uh, small GIF <laughs> which uh, guides you through the creation process of um, this policy or of this profile. Um, you can find in the Intune portal um, the section of uh, driver updates. In uh, this section or of uh, updates, you can select then driver management. It's um, on the top menu bar. Uh, here you can create a new profile. As um, in the most policies, you have to define a name. Then you have to select, um, as uh, shown before, if you want to make the automatic or manual approach. And uh, then you can um, 
assign this to to a group of devices as already mentioned you can um, decide if you want to have a piloting phase if you want to create multiple profiles and then you can create this profile uh, once this profile is created you also find a sync button um, this will be shown in one of the latest picture um, with a sync button you can bring in data from windows update for business um, into intune to to see which drivers are, um, um, or which driver updates are detected and um, based on this you also get a list of um, drivers uh, which um, or driver updates which um, should be installed on some devices or not yet installed on some devices and you also will see and count how many devices are affected uh, from this driver update and then you can disable um, approve it pause it and so on and so forth good then back to you niklas yeah thank you very much um, maybe just one note here you can see that there's a recommended drivers tab and other drivers tab um, only the recommended drivers updates get automatically approved and the other drivers are just a section of all applicable drivers which the manufacturer would not flag as required or recommended exactly so some important notes uh, you can search the windows update catalog where all drivers driver updates are listed in um, yeah url for that update catalog is found on my blog post um, one more important thing is that the deadline and grace period settings apply from the quality update. So if you have a Windows update for business ring configured in Intune and con you configure deadline and grace period, that one will apply of the quality updates. Prior update updates are not supported within the autopilot process. And also a roll bike of a driver is not possible as of now. Same thing is for the pause function. So if you want to pause in a deployment of a driver update, that one is just the best effort. So if the device hasn't checked into the Windows Update for Business service and it has received that pause command, it will stop the installation, but it will not make a rollback or anything like that. Um, assigning a device to driver update policies is not recommended. It is possible although but be careful because the status of an approved driver up update will always win. So if you have two policies, one says, hey, block it. The other one says, hey, uh, go for it. Uh, the driver update will get approved and installed on, on your device. And last but not least, um, some important notes regarding firmware updates. Um, these ones which are published to the Windows Update Catalog do usually, or not at all, do not require device or UAFE to be unlocked anyhow. If you now want to opt in into that new feature, yeah, first of all, get yourself an overview of your device types and also which uh, device models you have in your inventory. Then you can deploy or plan your deployment strategy and the rings. So as Yannick mentioned, you may have some uh, ring design such as an uh, insider pilot uh, production one, production two or more or less. And then you can define if you want to go for the red button or green button strategy. I'm, my recommendation, my personal recommendation would be to go for the red button strategy. Then to, to get started, if you never have used this feature, you could create a dev policy, to, so just for development purposes with manual approval mode and include some different device models. Um, yeah, as I uh, described here, um, this one is good because you then have some inventory data already in your policy and you can see how much drivers driver updates may come. But also here, be careful. Once a driver update policy is assigned to a device and you stop the existing driver update deployment and also the optional updates will get uh, not displayed anymore. Yeah, then of course, uh, widen your scope, create a policy <clears throat> for a limited amount of device um, choose here your approval met method as I said, I would start with automatic. And once you have collected your experience, you can prepare the general low rollout and create all these other rings and uh, go for it. And if there's anything, yeah, you have that commercial controls, you can pause, decline, uh, or approve any update. Yeah, that's pretty much it with the driver update feature from Intune. 
Um, I think it's really an enrichment to the existing Windows Update part and also something that was missing um, from my perspective in Intune. So it's great to, to have it now in here. Uh, as always, start with good pilot groups, test that feature out in your environment. Uh, that's the important things and everything you need to know, um, you should have seen in this video or in the blog post um, of mine, of Orianic um, and in the official Microsoft Learn documents. Is there anything to mention from your side, Yannick? No, I have not really something to add. I'm also really happy that this feature is now um, into the official product. I think a lot um, of companies um, wait for this feature since months, years. <laughs> yeah. uh, but now we have finally this feature in and I'm um, sure that uh, there will also be a further development. Maybe we see in the future also possibility for roll back and uh, driver update or stuff like this um yeah let's see what what came in some uh yeah new releases of intune yeah great so then thank you very much Yannick, for your time and expertise and uh, thank you see you next time bye 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 bye